Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Friday, November 10th, 2023. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Way Report and YouTube channel Day Trader S&P 500. As always, we want to get our uh, YouTube subscribers caught up with what our newsletter subscribers have. We want to start today, as usual, with the U.S. 10-year. Give you guys a peek here at the bigger picture. Wave 1 up was from the year 2020 low. Wave 2 down here in April 23. From there we have a 1 up with a circle in red. A 2 down in a circle. A 3 up with a circle. And a 4 down. Okay. The 3 target. Here was the trigger. The wave 1 in intermediate degree with parentheses in green. Trigger. Target was 5.10%. We got 5.021 to direct hit, basically. Okay, so that was wave three. Here in red are our wave four targets. You can see we have a 4.527, 4.357, and a 4.222. And uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Let's see here. Yeah, yesterday it went down to 4.473. So right in between the 382 and the 50% retracement. Okay, once 4 is complete, and if it is complete at that low, we don't know this yet, it did reach the 382, but not the 500 or the 50%. Wave 5 in a circle will gain equality with 1 at 5.320%. Okay, and if this is 1 up here, let's make this big. Now we can see the whole picture. There we go. If this is one up here and this is two down here, three minimum target is equality with one at 7.255%. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, we'll see if this four low holds or if it hits these other Fibonacci targets. It should not go below the wave one high at 4.094%. Yeah, I got it written right there, 4.094. That's the make or break, that's where it's wrong. Okay, so as long as that holds, we're looking for wave 5 up to higher highs and eventually the wave 3 of cycle degree of trend. Okay, let's move on to the S&P cash. This is a weekly chart. You can see there the all-time high back in January of 22. We have a wave A down, okay, and a wave B up. All right, the uh, wave B up gained symmetry with wave A. By one trading day, they both lasted a Fibonacci 8 plus 1 or 9 months. And again, one trading day apart. We have a trend line drawn here from this wave A low to this wave B low all the way through. The market peaked its head above there. This should act as resistance. Okay, so we'll see how that works out over time. That again it is a weekly chart of the S&P. Let's go down to and that. That's the B wave high up there in July. And I think we can go from that B wave high in July. You can see we've got a one down with a circle, a two up, and then we have a one down in parentheses, A of two up, okay? These blue lines are the Fibonacci time span, if you will, from trading view. Um, again, I'm experimenting or testing these. Relatively new to me, been doing it for just a, a few short months while the Fibonacci time spiral I've been doing for over 25 years. But we'll see how this works out. If we if we take the spiral out or the span to 1.0, it hit right on the 818 low. The 1.618 hit right on a September 1st. We had a 2.618 here on the 26th of September, a little bit off there. The 3.618 came within a day of this wave four high and then we had a 1.6 let's make this bigger too my apologies guys i'll do that on all the charts okay and we can see things better all right we see we have a couple direct hits in there but uh then we have these massive move up in wave a of two okay uh the uh, downside target was achieved within three points down here 4103 our target was 4100 you can see us move up we're looking for an a up a b down and a c up we can show that better illustrated. I've got the uh, pattern drawn out on the E-mini futures when we get there. Usually you get three gaps. Um, this one provided four gaps, two runaway gaps, started with a breakaway and ended with an exhaustion gap. 
and this here is a key reversal day it's hard to see because this uh, line hit right on the November um, 9th which was yesterday uh, Fibonacci time span from trading view the next one is 12 4 but let me show you guys this if I can remove this there we go there's a key reversal day a higher high okay and then it closes below the previous days low there you go that's a better it's the previous day that's a low that's a key reversal day and I want to show you guys uh, something here okay uh, don't talk about this much if at all but in our video on demand okay we have how to trade a key reversal or outside day there's actually four steps covers a span of four days certain criteria need to be met or you get out so you can look at that and then we also update Tesla SMH XBI and Bitcoin once a month okay I think this is uh, 89 a month recurring but we have those video updates plus all these reports okay uh, classic crashes different trading uh, things so if you uh, want to learn some about trading with Elliott Wave you might want to check out our video on demand okay but let's get back into there's the S&P cash okay looking for an A up which is five waves a B down which is three and then a C up which is five wouldn't rule out the possibility of this thing just collapsing from here too we'll see okay but we can get into that a little bit later uh, let's move from the uh, cash to the E minis okay we're looking at a daily chart here I want to point out uh, I made a note of this um, usually look at the continuous uh, monthly contract rolls over you know every March June September December okay in December contract 9-1 is the high and in the continuous contract it's 9-15 so there's a little difference there it makes a little bit difference on these targets for this one uh, we're looking at the uh, continuous contract okay again we've got a, a one down and a, and a two up and then one of three and then a of two if you're following me following me there that's a and red and two is over here so a is five waves up we can get in the detail of that okay 44.13 high just fell short of the um, 44.39 where five equals one that was five waves up there's that uh, key reversal day again in the futures all right we're looking for an a b c three waves down and then five waves up so that is a five waves up that is b three waves down that would be c five waves up so here's our b wave targets here okay the 382 4302 the 50% let me make that big again okay there we go that's a little better okay and uh, by the way this trigger here which we had way back here caught a 228 point gain not that you ever want to get you ever realistically get 100% of the move but should be happy with 80 or certainly 60 percent of the move so that was i don't know eight or nine days of straight up and our upside trigger caught it and we had targets along the way which were all achieved except the very last one by a few points okay so now this 44 13 wave a high becomes the trigger and these are the targets the b wave targets here a b c down for this b in red okay so there are the targets there I think you can see them and then we'll look for five ways up and wave C to complete wave two okay so we've got a ways to go again uh, we'll watch this decline here to see if this thing just collapses otherwise we're looking at five up three down and five up for the larger degree wave two in black with uh, parentheses around them okay let's get out of that and let's go from the daily um, to the hourly let's make that bigger before we forget there we go okay and from this wave four high which was a direct hit there we go we had let me straighten this up there we go all right we had a wave one down and that's a of two again and you can see this one two three four five if you look at this five that's red this was an ending diagonal triangle where four overlap that's an ending pattern tells you that's the end of the move okay we have one up two down these are all three waves 
a three up, a four down, which overlapped a one, and a five. Okay, key reversal day, bang, we reverse to the downside. There again is that 4413 trigger. There again are the B wave targets, and there again is our upside trigger, which happened oh, way back in uh, late October. Okay, and then there is the huge gain. Okay, by the way, this open gap, again, this is futures. Uh, they're open 23 hours a day. It's rare to have a gap remain open. This will be closed. It may have to wait till we get the A up, the B down, and the C up, and then wave three to begin in earnest to close. But that gap won't stay open. Um, like I said, futures are open 23 hours a day. It's very rare to have a, a gap remain open. And you saw all the gaps in the S&P cash, okay? Those will all get closed too. Okay, so this is the... Uh, look at wave B down there okay and we're looking again at the hourly chart let's see maybe we'll get in a little bit closer okay here we go we've got a 10 minute chart to show you guys a little bit more of that again there is that uh, ending diagonal one up two down three up four up overlap and five and so here is the beginning of B we got a one down a two up a three down yeah this is by the way this is about 8 30 a.m eastern this is live and you're seeing wave four right here we've got a one down two up there is three move that over see that little bitty three there by the way i mentioned the trading view maybe to be able to change the font of these things but uh anyway it would be nice so we got an a up a b down there's where c equals a at 43.76 and there is a high of 4376.50. These are the other targets. Okay, that was a 382 at 4373 and three quarters. The 50% for wave four is up here at 4379 and three quarters. And the 618 is right there at 4385.75. Note this wave one, 4385 and a quarter. Wave four should not go above the wave one low. There have been numerous uh, times when the fourth wave kissed right up against there providing an unbelievable risk reward okay so let's just say it goes to 4384 where is it wrong well four goes above one low right so if it's sitting at 4384 your risk is a point and a quarter and your reward is where five goes and let's just let's just play that out okay let's look at that and see what that reward that's assuming it goes up there it may or may not but let's get an extension here from wave one at 44.13 that's 48 43.85 and a quarter and we'll put it on let's put it on here well it's a little bit above it let's put it on the 50 percent right there okay say it goes there we don't know it may go up to the 618 it should hold below that low again all right so the one to one is down here at 43.52 so that's a 27 point reward for a one or two point risk. That's that's pretty good risk reward ratio. It's been all kinds of examples of fourth waves button up against the wave one low, providing unbelievable risk reward. Okay, that's on the uh, 10 minute. Um, let me show you guys what we put out last night to our subscribers on post market close yesterday. Okay, here we go. By the way, that's got a question mark on it. 11.16 may mark the bottom of B. We will see the, the lower, the B with the parentheses on it, okay? Here's our turn dates. That's the Fibonacci time zone, which is a tool in TradingView, which alerted us to 11.9. Our Fibonacci time spiral, which I've been using for over 25 years, points to 11.16, again, which may mark that uh, B wave low, okay? Here again is the uh, hourly, okay? We're looking at that uh, one down in parentheses and A of two up. And here are the B targets. Again, the trigger ending diagonal triangle. And we had the key reversal date there too, okay? So we'll go through all that. Um, we're turning our focus away B. There are those targets, okay? And there is the big picture again. Again, that November May 16 may mark the, the bottom of wave B. We'll see. If this thing collapses, it could mark the bottom of three if if that's the entire wave uh two up but it, it looks like a clear five wave so it should be five up three down 
five up. Whenever you get five up in one direction, you'll get three down in the other direction, and then five up in the direction of the first five. So that's what we're looking at there, and we're watching this B wave play out. So um, if it, if it uh, terminates on the 16th, I think that would be um, Fibonacci, let's see, 9 to 16 is 7, Fibonacci five days, five trading days down. Okay, again, this gap down here, 4136 will eventually be closed. That's it right there. Again, it's rare for that to be open, remain open. We keep telling, reminder, this is a bear market. Surprises will be to the downside. Remain in sell rally mode. Uh, that's a rally to sell. That's a rally to sell. Okay, I think uh, we'll leave you guys with this big picture here. Okay, you guys have a great weekend. And until next time, take care, everyone.